When I was little, my father was famous. He was the greatest samurai in the empire. He cut off the heads of 131 lords. Hey everybody, Jerry Williams, aka Greater Sapien here. Thanks for stopping by. Today we look at number 81 of Eric Dubay's 200 Proofs Earth is Not a Spinning Ball. Dubay says, The distance from which various lighthouse lights around the world are visible at sea far exceeds what could be found on a ball Earth 25,000 miles in circumference. For example, the Dunkirk light in southern France at an altitude of 194 feet is visible from a boat 10 feet above sea level 28 miles away. Spherical trigonometry dictates that if the Earth was a globe with a given curvature of 8 inches per mile squared, this light should be hidden 190 feet below the horizon. You know, when you haven't done this in a while, you get out of the rhythm of fact-checking and you forget where to start on the critique. Keen observers might have noticed that the video I did for uh, number 80 was recorded almost exactly a year ago and sat unedited this entire time. So where to start with this one? Well, first I wonder where the claim comes from. For example, in the last bullshit claim, Dubay said, in Chambers Journal, February 1895, a sailor blah blah blah, you see there was a source for that BS that it was based on. This claim about the lighthouse in southern France is just something he says with no source. And for some reason, flat earthers think if he says it, it must be true, which makes them morons because he says the Dunkirk light is in southern France and Dunkirk is in northern France. And I bet you flat earthers never even noticed. Anyway, since Dubay doesn't give a source for his information, I'm just going to assume he looked at an almanac or something. So I get a hold of the list of lights, radio aids, and fog signals for the British Isles English Channel and North Sea and look up Dunkirk Lighthouse. And here it is on page 159 of the PDF. It says here that the light's focal height is 194 feet, which matches Dubay's claim, and that its range is 26 miles. Now, that isn't a match, but it's close enough. Dubay might have just read it wrong. After all, he did say the lighthouse was in southern France. But even with that error, Flat earthers can still say, hey, 26 miles is still way farther than it should be visible on a round earth. It's right there in the publication. Globe debunked. And they would have a point if it wasn't for what these light lists actually say. They state that the range they have listed is the nominal range for the light. What does nominal range mean? Well, it's the luminous range of a light in a homogeneous atmosphere in which the meteorological visibility is 10 nautical miles. Now this is not to be confused with the geographical range of a light, which is the greatest distance at which a light can be seen as a function of the curvature of the earth, the height of the light source, and the height of the observer. The nominal range is a wholly different thing than the geographical range. Nominal is best case scenario, unobstructed range of that light. Maybe you're flying in a plane. Well, on a clear day, the range of this light is determined to be 26 miles. Now, when it comes to geographic range, it tells you to compute it yourself. It has a little chart with approximate visibility at sea level for objects of different heights, and then tells you how to do a quick calculation given your own height. So, to sum up, when Dubay claims the listed visibility range of this lighthouse proves the globe is false, I say, you're reading it wrong. That's my job! That's what I do! Today we're going to look at number 81 of Eric Dubay's 200 Proof. Hey everybody, Jerry Williams, aka Greater Sapien here. Thanks for stopping by. Today, <clears throat> for example, the Dunkirk Light at Southern France in an altitude... For example, the Dunkirk light in southern France at an altitude of 90... Again, spherical trigonometry dictates that if an, the Earth was 25... <coughs> ah, try it again. From the top. It's been a long time. That's my job! 